Hi everyone, it's Brian Shearer back with another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. And today we're gonna to talk about how to use the balloon tool, which is right down here towards the bottom of your menu on the left. When you click on that, up here on the right, comes up uh, on the options for it. You have the ellipse balloon, which is pretty much circular. Um, I used that for a long time before I realized that down here, the rounded balloon, if you click on that one, gives you uh, something that's a little better fit for dialogue, especially if you have longer dialogue. So you have the curve balloon, which means every time you hit a point, it'll give you a nice little curve. And then when you click, uh, double click or go back to the start point, you have a kind of odd shaped balloon. My favorite, however, is the balloon pin, which lets you, especially if you have a pressure sensitive tablet, lets you get some really cool shapes. I kind of vary the pressure. And then when I connect it, there it is. And I can actually add a little balloon tail. It'll make a nice little balloon. Um, so let's just do the rounded balloon here for a second. And the balloon tail tool, if I click on that, will automatically make a balloon tail. I'll double click it to close it. If I don't double click it, every point that I click gives it a little curve. And it'll automatically connect that to that balloon. So if I want to do a, so let's say I make a balloon there. And if I go over here, how to add, there's two options. There's create a new layer. So if I say create a new layer and I do another balloon over it, I'm gonna have two overlapping balloons. If I select add to selected layer, that means it's going to combine into those uh, those two balloons into one one shape. So just be aware of that. Um, this can be handy when I, when I, if I have like dialogue that's like this and let's say I go back up here and do my, um, I'll just use the balloon, we'll say the balloon pin, right? And I'm just gonna go here and connect these two. And then there, there's that, that little connected thing. That's how you do that. So how to adjust a balloon size after you've already made it. So click on the layer and then go up here to the operation, I almost said object, operation, and then select object and it'll select the balloon. And then you can grab and uh, change the shape and the size. Um, so that is the basics of how that works. Now, if you're gonna add text, um, note that when I add text here, say boom, it throws that text into this layer automatically. Whatever balloon you've clicked on, it combines. You can still edit the, the text. You can still change the shape and the size. But when you go to change that operation, it's gonna change everything so make sure that if you're going to change the size of the text in there click on the text and then that will let you adjust within the text within the balloon operation will change the size of everything so uh, that is uh, the basics of the balloon tool um, go around and play with it you've also got what I didn't talk about the, the thought balloon tail which is just uh, a different tail but th that's should be enough to get you started uh, hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Check out one of my other tutorials and let me know in the comments uh, what other uh, tutorials you'd like to see. Hope that helps. See you next time.